I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and today we are talking about sleep problems associated with menopause, which include hot flashes, night sweats, and insomnia. It's a real shit show, folks, but I'm here to help. So you may have seen the other video I posted a couple years ago titled, How to Get Your Best Night Sleep Ever. In case you missed that, I'll have the link down below in the description. And while you're there, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and hit that little alarm button so you know when a new video drops. But today, we're gonna be talking about how to get your best night's sleep during menopause. So beginning around the age of 40, give or take a couple years, is when women enter perimenopause and that's when our sleep cycles begin to be disturbed based on the fluctuations of our hormones. So during perimenopause and menopause, 40 to 50% of women report that they have trouble sleeping or staying asleep. And postmenopause, 60% of women report difficulties with sleep. So on a side note to all of my male subscribers, do not tune out. You have a mother, you have a sister, you potentially have a girlfriend or a wife you're going to be dealing with this too. So forward this video to help them out. Because um, if you think that you're not gonna be affected by the sleep deprived women in your life, think again, my friend. There's a long list of sleep problems associated with menopause, which include hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, um, sleep breathing things that didn't used to happen. Like all of a sudden you, you can get sleep apnea. Um, once you wake up, you could have difficulty falling back asleep. And even like things like restless leg syndrome, where you're kicking your legs in the middle of the night. In addition, as your sleep deteriorates, anxiety and depression can increase. Brain fog, normally associated with menopause, can worsen. Your energy can decrease. And this can affect like your normal self-care that you normally do. It can cut into your exercise routines. So it really can be a cascade of negative health effects. Okay, so now what? We know what all the problems are. What are we gonna do about them? Well, let me tell you about some of my favorite remedies. Um, I talked a lot in the previous video about keeping the room cold, preferably about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. But what I've found during menopause is that in addition to keeping a cold environment, switching out the bedding to a cooler bedding has been a lifesaver. This is the Rest Duvet Evercool Cooling Comforter, and I am obsessed. So after about 8 p.m. is when the majority of my hot flashes start hitting me. And if you've never had a hot flash before, it feels like I'm getting hit with like a freight train on fire. I call it my internal inferno. What I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll grab this comforter off of the bed and I will literally cuddle up with it and carry it around the house like I'm a giant blue puffy cloud. And <laughs> I'll sit on the couch and watch TV, but it's so cooling that it's, it's really helped my hot flashes subside much quicker. And then I'll just bring it back up and throw it back on the bed. I recommend this for any woman over the age of 40, or even if you're just a hot sleeper. And what I've realized that this is helping me the most is with night sweats. It's not uncommon for women going through menopause to wake up literally in a pool of sweat. And it sucks. It's so uncomfortable. Not only is it like gross, but it's really difficult to get back to sleep after that. But after using this comforter, I've been using this now for like a few weeks and I am waking up a lot less sweaty and it's helping me get back to sleep right away because it stays cool all night. It's not like you don't plug it in. It's not like, you know, you plug it into a freezer. It's not like there's any spray or treatment that they do to the fabric that keeps it cool. It's literally in the way that the fabric is made. So it's this high tech fabric that makes the heat dissipate. So it's just cool to the touch and it stays cool to the touch throughout the night. It's quite incredible. The care for this is so easy. I mean, you literally throw it in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer, and you've got it again for the next day. Wash after wash after wash, you're still gonna get the same cooling effect. And it's cooler than cotton, it's cooler than bamboo, it's cooler than silk. I mean, whoa, there's some pretty high tech stuff in here. 
So this is the REST cooling comforter. There is a link down below in the description with a discount code. Ladies, this is a game changer and totally worth it. So the second thing I'm doing to get a good night's sleep during menopause is I've switched to a cooling mattress. And there's a lot of those on the market, so I'll give you my favorites down below in the description. Um, but the one that I use is Uller, and it works with an app. So at nighttime, I go on my Uller app, and you can even program it. My current temperature is 71, but I can bring it all the way down to 55. And then the great thing about this as well is it, you can program it to wake up. So instead of you having a blaring alarm clock, all of a sudden it just slowly heats up to high and it wakes you up naturally. This is like the best of both worlds, right? I have a cooling comforter, I've got a cooling mattress, my room is cold and I am sandwiched in the middle of these two cooling products. It has made a huge difference in the amount of night sweats that I have and my ability to fall back asleep. So I'll have the links to my favorites down below. If you have a cooling mattress, because these are expensive, so if you have a cooling mattress that you love, or that you find on sale or that works for you, please put it in the comments below because we're all in this together and women should be helping women through these times. So this is a platform where if you have something that's working for you with hot flashes, insomnia, night sweats, please put it in the comments below. We're all in this together. Number three are instant ice packs. Now I know that seems silly. They're like $3 for like, you know, a couple of them, but those are the ones that you break and you shake and then you apply. Those are usually on my bedside stand just in case of an emergency that where I just can't cool off and I need something instant, they're right there and you can apply them. So that's a cheap and effective way to also help alleviate a hot flash or a night sweat. So I also did a full video on my menopause journey that was sponsored by Bonafide and they have many over-the-counter medications that are there to alleviate uh, menopausal symptoms. And one of them was Relizin, which is specifically targeted for hot flashes and night sweats. And I did find, um, I used that product for a while, I still occasionally use it, but I did find that that does help to alleviate those symptoms as well. There are also a lot of other over-the-counter supplements that help symptoms, such as black cohash, ginseng, red clover extract, but these natural kind of supplements, they're not as, as highly regulated by the FDA, so I really urge you to, to talk to your doctor first. And again, if you have a naturopathic kind of remedy that's working for you, please put it in the comment section down below. We'd all really love to learn. With the insomnia that comes with menopause, once you wake up, it's really difficult to fall back asleep. So in case of an emergency, make sure that you have a plan. Like what do you do when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're covered in sweat? Um, one of the things that's worked for me is I would have a dry tank top uh, on my nightstand so that I could quickly change without having to get out of bed. Another thing that I often do is I will fall asleep with a, a giant glass of just ice. So I have the dry tank top there, I have a glass of ice so that if I wake up in the middle of the night with a hot flash or a night sweat, I switch my tank top and I drink a very, at this point, melted ice cold water which um, really cools me off from the inside out and it really helps to put me back to sleep. You know, sleep is important. So if we can do the things that help us to stay asleep and if we do wake up to get to sleep back quickly, that is gonna be the best for your overall health. If you are one of those people that once you wake up, you just cannot go back to sleep, I urge you to talk to your doctor. You know, there's a lot of different stuff that you can take. I personally take three milligrams of melatonin each night and I drink a cup of sleepy time tea. But if you're really having trouble, I urge you to talk to your doctor. With that said, yes, we've gone over a lot of different remedies for sleep-related problems during menopause but one of the best remedies is hormone replacement therapy. And I've done several videos with Dr. Nina regarding hormone replacement therapy. It does help alleviate a lot of the symptoms of, of menopause. But in addition to that, with the drop of estrogen, age-related diseases become more prevalent. 
So if you're, if you're not going to be on hormone replacement therapy, just know that your, your bones will become more brittle. You have a higher chance of dementia and Alzheimer's, and you have a higher chance of heart attack. So your heart, your bones, your brain, all of these things succumb to age-related diseases with the hormonal decline of estrogen. So talk to your doctor about that as well. So that's it. I'm gonna curl up now and cool down. Setting yourself up for a good night's sleep during menopause, that's a really good way to live young.